So you want to just keep those all trimmed up and of course as this gets heavier with fruit it's going to need some help so I need to support it to this cattle panel and here are the two smaller plants I kind of got my method worked out on. Um, they're really small. They're the smallest ones out here. But see how the bottom doesn't have anything touching the ground and that way it also you know and weed around each one and but these are really really bushy around the bottom. So we want to get all that cleared up all the way down. Making progress. Looking better. Less bushy around the bottom. Boy, I should have worn long sleeves. Look at that cute little tomato right there. Man, all I can think about is the good sauce I make. Ooh, so good. a little outside. I just wanted to show you the, let me get down a little bit, you can see how the stem is a little bare, a little more bare than um, it was when I started. And this side of the Marzano's looks good too. I really like that, it looks nice and neat. And there are a lot of tomatoes on these little vines. So, I did this little row. These are um, cherry tomatoes, this row. Grandkids love these. But I ended up not really doing much to them. I gave each main stalk a little support. But I'm really happy with how these look. I, these were planted just a month ago. And look at the growth already. I'm supposed to get about five feet, four to five feet. So 
They're indeterminate, so that means they just keep on growing. So, thanks for tuning in to Living Joyfully Homestead. If you like this video or just press like, if you'd like to subscribe, that'd be really great. I love sharing some of the things that I've learned on this gardening journey. <laughs> been a lot of learning lately the last couple years so go have a blessed day find joy live joyfully bye bye